we study genes that are responsible for making people resistant or susceptible to tuberculosis, and we want to, to understand how the genes work and to find a way to correct uh, the susceptible phenotypes. Uh, they're, they're pretty sparse, but that's it's going to be for a... Uh, this research, oh, this um, we believe, will fill a gap in our attempts to cure tuberculosis. Major efforts are made to develop a vaccine and develop a drug. But there's another uh, player in this, which is an immune system of the host. And yes, we work not on drugs against the pathogen, but on intervention that strengthen the immune system of the host. And it should be uh, beneficial even in case of drug-resistant tuberculosis, where antibiotics may not be efficient. I've been working with tuberculosis in five different locations. And I started doing tuberculosis research for my PhD thesis, and I worked in leading labs. And by far, the needle is the safest laboratory uh, among those that I personally worked in or visited. And uh, its capability exceeds uh, by far capability of existing labs in terms of implementation of modern uh, technologies. And this is a major distinction for the needle because uh, the biotech power of Boston area could really now be applied to a uh, tuberculosis field. And also what is important, that needle is a home for approximately, in the future, 20 laboratories that can work on different aspects of disease, diagnostics, treatment, and it will be a great synergy where people under the same roof can work together and address the needs much more efficiently.